It's retro tech time. Um, what was your question? You no, because you had that. I had the, yeah, the, I replayed it. Oh, you yeah, I played it. Okay, okay. Yeah, no, we couldn't hear it because it's uh, a little doofy. Yeah, like, like yeah. Don't worry, this isn't live. No, it is live. Uh, so retro tech this week. <laughs> um, we had a little, a uh, little funny music clip that we played for the time travel section. Anyways, I can't hear that. Yeah, yeah, because we. You know, I mean, I heard it all day. <laughs> I was working on it. It was important. It was important to me. It was. Yeah. I did it. Um, I'll play it again after this. Uh, so retro tech this week. This one's a little different because it's not the usual like, oh, here's like an Amiga or you know, here Commodore sixty four. Um, this is just something that that I happen to to like, but it but it has a, a somewhat kind of dismal. Um, well, pretty much everything I like has a dark side to it. But um, so this is a clear TV, and uh, I'll remove us for a second, and it allows you to see. On the inside of uh, of the television and how it Look works, cool and joke. it's yeah, and it has no it no remote. Uh, you have to plug headphones into it. Um, it has a you know, the RF thing in the back. You can see directly into it. Reminds me of those um, iMacs when they first came out that you could see into it's like the saddest iMac. Yeah, and uh, it, it's called the Secure View, and I'll get to that in a second. The reason I have one of these is we're we're I'm building a. A game area for our, our kid. She's she's very young, but you got to start them early. And the idea is we start her off on like Atari and then work her way up to the modern game systems. But I thought it'd be neat to see how the innards of a television work. Now, the downside of this is you're probably wondering, well, where, where are these? Where do they come from? So this is um, where you can buy something like it. Let me um, hit refresh. I think the, the site kind of so this is the more modern one. This is called, uh, it's a secure view, clear television. They're for prisons. So you don't put any, you don't have any drugs in them or, you know, weapons or anything. And uh, this new one, the secure view, clear television has like every input possible. So it has, I mean, despite it being like, it totally sucks. Um, it does have it's, better. It's, it has RF input. Yeah, it, it does has, have better features than like RTA that we have. It has VGA and HDMI. It has composite. Yeah. And, co and you can see into it. Look at NTSC, it has every possible yeah. video input, SCART. Um, so it's it's sad, but it's also like yeah. we were doing some video hacking. We had like a weird device um, that had RF output. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't even have it. NTSC didn't exist yet, or PAL. Yeah. It, it was expected to connect due to the antenna, um, you know, to pass the antenna through so you could have it into a TV like your old Nintendo. And it was like, uh, I don't have a modulator. And he was like, oh, wait, this TV has an RF input. Yeah. And it's like, it's just, they're really beautiful. But, you know, the, the sad part about it is it's, it, it's, it's for prisons. Um, so you can pick up these older ones that just have RFN on eBay or like auctions or whatever. And then there's more modern ones that you can get from like jail, yeah, jailsupply.com. Um, but that's uh, this week's uh, Retro Tech. <laughs> 